If I didn't have a show and I wasn't on a time crunch, I would have already washed this off. I haven't looked this bad in drag in a long time. Boots the house down. Hi, it's Trixie Mattel. We're here in lovely Brighton where the sky is gray stricken and I saw people swimming in the oceans. I don't know what the f is going on here, but I went to the boots and I bought tons of new UK makeup. UK makeup was one of the first videos we did on this channel a very long time ago. And so I thought we would give it another shot because honestly, there was a lot of flops in that video. I did go on Twitter and ask people to tell me what to buy and then I couldn't find my own tweet. And so I went in blind once again. So when I pull out some of these products, some of you Brits might be like, oh my God, not that. But I tried to make more educated decisions here so I could get the London look. I'm gonna keep gluing my brows down, but please subscribe to the channel and let's get into it. Today's video is brought to you by our friends at Native. Now as a drag queen, a performer, an athlete, and an all around sweater, nothing is more important to me than hygiene. Native is made with very familiar ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. Now for me, when I choose the scent for the day, I like to choose something that goes in the outfit. Now I'm wearing lilac, so lilac and white tea makes the most sense. It's not sticky, it dries down to something very thin. Do you guys mind if I stay fresh? It does smell blast, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it smells beautiful. Native is aluminum free, paraben free, vegan, and cruelty free. There's also great scent options. Today I have on the lilac and white tea. This eucalyptus and mint one though, it smells so good. <laughs> It's very earthy, very fresh. It smells like a spa. To celebrate their commitment to Pride, Native has donated $50,000 to our friends at the Trevor Project, which if you're a fan of Trixie, you know that we love the Trevor Project. It's the world's largest crisis and suicide prevention hotline, and it's been a huge help to the LGBTQIA plus community. So thank you, Native. So normally three deodorants would be $39, but if you use my link and code Trixie, you can get three of them for only $26. That is 33% off. With my code, you can also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. Thank you so much Nada for sponsoring, but let's get back to the video. So before we choose violence, let's try to give peace a chance here. I'm gonna use a primer that I'm familiar with. This is the e.l.f. putty primer, the uh, <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts collab. I like it, honestly. Do I like my face to smell like a donut? I don't know. I don't know. I don't need that, but I'm happy it's happening, I guess. Besides, if we're gonna try foundation, sometimes I feel like the only fair shot is to use a primer you like, and that way, if the primer sucks, you're not blaming the foundation, you know? This looks pretty good. So I picked up a foundation, and I didn't know what to get, so I just got this Max, ooh, Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless Airbrush Finish 3 in 1 Primer Concealer Foundation. Hmm, <sighs> kind of a good match. At 32 years old, I think I finally figured out how to match my foundation at the store by just looking at bottles. That's a really good match. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Do your ears, you know how I feel about red ears. I think it looks pretty good. It looks a little real for what we need it to do. I get nervous anytime something is called a primer, concealer, and foundation in one. I feel like that's jail. I feel like that's like the straight guys who use like shampoo, conditioner, shower gel combos. It's a little watery. Let's see what the first ingredient is. Water. Okay, <laughs> this is a water-based foundation. I would not choose that for drag. Had I known that, I might not have bought it. Water-based foundations blend in really well, but they just don't tend to have the coverage or the staying powder, right? Because the body of the foundation is water and your body is 70% water. And then what? 71% water because you have foundation on? I don't know. Halfway through the show, I can tell you I'm gonna step off stage and this makeup's gonna be gone. And I'm gonna be like, This is not gonna be enough coverage. I'm gonna have to really layer this up. This is the part in the video where I choose a product that's not for drag makeup and I complain that it doesn't do drag makeup. Bob, uh, moving right along. Like already so optimistic. I got this 17 iFlix pen. I think this is a black eyeliner pen. I mean, it is doing that. So let's see what happens here. I mean, it's just, it's, 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 listen. You guys. <laughs> I'm gonna give this pen liner a few minutes to get its together. I got a palette. This is the Revolution Maxi Reloaded Palette. 
It's gonna be one of those days. It's gonna be one of those days where I'm stuck on stage wearing makeup that I don't necessarily believe in. If you're in Brighton and you're at the show and I look gutted, can you just know that this is what was happening backstage? This was the behind the scenes struggle. Something like this. Oh God, the optimism is just leaving my body. Oh no, fuck, no. All right, we're gonna go darker because that has absolutely no pigmentation. It's just not matte. You know, Cheryl Crow was right. Every day is a winding road. Let's just keep moving. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Have you guys heard of the Grammy award-winning musical artist, Struggolina Aguilera? This is the most dangerous type of product. A product like this that is disguised as a pro product and it just sucks. I should have went to Super Drug. I'm sorry, Revolution, but you know that this is bogus. I'm sorry. That company's probably owned by people who are very intelligent and they should know that this is bogus. I used to be afraid of speaking up when a product was bad because I thought, what if the brand finds out about it? Now I want them to know. Do you know what I mean? Now now when I say something about pro a product, the brand always finds out. So girl, you know this is bogus. You know this is bogus. The world does not need more makeup. So unless you're contributing to the conversation with something of quality, close your mouth. Well, I haven't tried every Revolution product. Let's just say with this particular eyeshadow palette. If I didn't have a show and I wasn't on a time crunch, I would have already washed this off. Do you guys see all that texture that, that just like, oh God. It's not bad for the brows because it's so sheer. It's kind of a compliment, but not really. I'm gonna do this to this side and be right back. It is what it is. Okay, I needed to figure out a contour situation. There's this company called Sleek. I know very little about it. it. Includes two highlighting and four contouring shades that work together to sculpt and define your face. I got the medium kit because I thought I could use this to contour. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, this might, this might actually work, right? Whatever. Let's just let's just hope. I think I'm a good person. I pay my taxes. I give money to the Honeybee Conservancy. I donate to the Trevor Project. And then the universe does this to me. Between this foundation and this eyeshadow, I haven't looked this bad in drag in a long time. This is gonna be a really rough day. <laughs> you know, I actually really like the way this contour looks. <laughs> Not to turn a corner, but I think this actually is kind of pretty. I couldn't find an acceptable highlight, so I grabbed my Makeup Forever little uh, pro palette here, and I'm just gonna steal from in here. These videos really aren't about will it work. It's about how much extra work will I have to put in to get this to look half as good as it normally does. I feel like if you put Gordon Ramsay in federal prison and he had to make a filet mignon using honey buns and Cheeto dust, it's like, what can you really expect? <laughs> this isn't a happy laugh, by the way. This is gay fear and this is gay panic. I'm gonna powder with my normal kind of thing. I have some Maybelline Fit Me here and I have some Makeup Forever setting powder here. I'm gonna powder with these and be right back. And we're back and we powdered. I mean, the skin looks a lot better powdered. I think this is a really old MAC shadow. I have to go in and put something over the shadow because it's disgusting. Do you see how much better that looks? Like, look at now it's actually matte, like, hello. Well, I wanna try this brow microfiling pen. I'm interested in this. Three different lengths that mimic natural brow hair. This is from Benefit. It's not exactly a UK brand, but it was on sale in the store. And I was like, you know what? Can I have one product in this that I actually think might be good? Little pitchforks. Oh, that's actually really cute to me. It's a little light for me, but I actually think this is really cute. Let's try some powder. I think it's time to powder over. I got the Rimmel London Buildable Coverage Foundation. I got three shades. This is in fair porcelain. It's really light, really, really light, but let's see what happens. I don't think Rimmel is even available in the States anymore, you guys. You can fact check me on that, but I feel like I used to see Rimmel commercials all the time and I don't see them anymore. Well, that's pretty good. I don't know, it's a medium coverage matte finish powder. That's what I'm getting from this. It's not like we're not changing lives, but with that foundation we're using, we actually need more coverage. So I'm glad I picked this up. We got a darker shade. Let's use it as contour. Now, this was the darkest shade they had. It's not very dark, but <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything. Um, this is the darkest shade I saw in the store. This is number 10 in Latte. I'm not saying they don't make darker shades, but this was the darkest they had in the store. And I don't know, I mean, if I, a drag queen, can't find a shade dark enough, and I'm primarily Caucasian, it's not ideal. This isn't an ideal shade. It's a little dry looking, but then again, I have it over a foundation I don't love, so I can't really judge it. I think these are kind of nice. How much are these? 10, 10 pounds? Which I think equates to 75 American dollars. I have no way of knowing. 13, 15 bucks. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's a little pricey for, for I think drugstore powder foundation. I, it's a good product. I wouldn't say it's worth that much money. So I, wait, 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 wait. I got something else because I knew that powder was gonna be deep enough. I got the Revolution Glow Ultra Matte Bronzer. Okay, perfect. I need it deeper. I'm getting deeper. Okay, great. This is medium. This is a deep, this is a deep medium. Oh, 
Oh, bitch. Oh, shit. Okay, dirt on the head, work. Um, oh. oh, wait, that's dried glue. Don't worry about that. Sorry, I've been on tour for like three months, so my head is just covered in glue all the time now. I don't want to talk about it. This feels like it has an, a name, identity crisis, because this is a really deep medium. That is really nice. I really like that. It's very red, but I really like it. This makeup is turning a corner. I'm gonna step off camera and do some white eyeliner, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. I mean, listen, let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back into this, like my primary abuser, which is this palette. I'm gonna go back in and just try to build some of the color here around the eye because it's just, it really is not giving. You know the makeup's going good when you keep going. <sighs> this is also, this is a user error. This is so uneven. Look at this cheek. Look at this one. It's a full inch difference from this side. Oh God. I'm gonna try to fix it. I don't know how realistic it'll be, but let's try to fix it. <laughs> let's try this liquid liner pen again. Let's, let's give it a fair shot. The 17 iFlix pen. You guys, I see why the brand name is 17. I'd have to buy about 17 of these to do one eye because it's running out of ink and it's brand new. Oh, I mean, I guess. This is the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. You, you guys, I think this is the same product I always use, but it has a way different box here. It has a brush? What? Oh, this is different. This might be the same product, but it is packaged different. Look at this. It's a cloudy bottle and it comes with a brush. Not to be cheap, I love when eyeliners come with free brushes. Let's see what the tea is, Christine. I'm actually a really big fan of the American formula of this. Maybe this is the same formula and it's just packaged differently, I don't know. I know from making makeup that the rules surrounding makeup and ingredients are much more strict here. So sometimes products are not able to be sold here and the approval process is very intense. You know what, let's just talk about it. People are always like, how come you guys don't have product in the UK? You guys, I'm a small company, smaller than you think. Each product to be tested for the UK. So let's say you have a lipstick. Let's say you have 12 shades. Each product I think is something like $700 per shade to test, just to have it tested to be sold here. I don't know, how many, how many lip glosses do we have now? Like 15? That's 15 times 700. And then I have to worry about where it's gonna be sold, like shipping it here. So I appreciate you guys wanting us in the UK, but you know, it's an expensive process. I think more independent makeup brands should be forthcoming about how hard that process is. Sometimes I'm afraid to tell you guys things, but then I'm I'm the owner of that company. So I don't know who I'm afraid of yelling at me. I guess me. This is fierce. Maybelline, gun to my head, one drugstore brand. If I had to only use one forever, it's absolutely Maybelline. Whenever I come to the UK, I love to go to Super Drug and Boots and just shop. I love buying new makeup. I like coming over here. We film Queen of the Universe here, so I like coming over here to fuck around. I get a little homesick for things like tall men and good Wi-Fi. But the UK, let me tell you something about the UK, and you can take this any way you want. It's just a different country. <laughs> it's a different country. It's a different place to live with different people living different ways in a different place. You guys, look how black that is. I'm glad I took a chance and in an act of bravery, I bought a product that I already knew I liked. So I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be right back. So we're back. Let's try the mascara. This is Revolution Blowout High Volume Mascara with Cannabis Sativa. It has weed. How are people who do weed supposed to open this? Okay, I don't know why marijuana is in mascara, but oh, oh, oh. I like the brush. Let's see here. Eh, it's okay. It smells horrible. But it says high volume mascara. I mean, to me, there's enough really good mascaras in the world that when one when one's just fine, I'm not gonna send it to federal prison. I'm just not thrilled. So, I mean, good for you. Go off. We got some lip liners here. This is Rimmel. I've got, I've got the London look. I've got Miss Mauve, SOS Nude, and Pink Candy. These are definitely my vibe. These type of colors, these like berries. I'm hopeful, right? You go. In, I go into scenarios hoping for the best. All right. I I don't want these videos to flop. This is really nice. See, I'm I'm reasonable, you know? And then I'm just gonna fill it in with this pink color, pink candy. Wow. You guys, this might be some of my favorite <laughs> lip liners I've ever used on the channel. These colors are beautiful. The wood in this pencil looks nice and like, I don't know how to describe it, but like brittle in a way where you, you want pencils to like, <clears throat> and the colors are great. Look at these. Wow. Joy in my life in this video. I just, uh, what? I don't even know how to respond. I bought a lip color. I just bought one. I'm just taking a, a chance. It was opened. I hope I opened it. Oh God, I'm getting diseases. Okay, Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. Kind of tastes like marshmallows. Kind of smells like marshmallows. Kind of tingles. I am really into this lip color. Why is everything in my life going well? 
in Brighton of all places. I was running on the beach in Brighton today and I saw a souvenir post that had dream catchers. We're very far from the Native Americans. I don't know how Native American handicrafts are being sold on the beach here, but good for you, go off. This is Sleek Makeup Keep It 100 Face Forming Blush. Oh, very simple packaging, sleek. I would say that the packaging is, is sleek. Ooh, this is a lot plummier than I thought it was gonna be. Let's see what happens. It's a little darker than I would probably usually choose. I'm gonna take a Trixie Cosmetics blush brush, just cause I know I want a smooth application. I love it. Oh, I love it. Then again, when have I put on a blush on this channel and not liked it? Hello? Do you see blush? I don't, hello? I'm gonna be honest, even though this, this makeup was a struggle, we'll, we'll talk about it, but it, it mostly looks the same. Either I'm an equally amazing makeup artist, no matter what tools I'm using, or I'm equally sh no matter how good or bad the products are. I had to get this. This is the Simpsons Revolution Summer of Love Fixing Spray. <gasps> Summer of Love? Get the lawyer on the line. Oh, bitch. Oh, I love this packaging. Wow, 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 wow. First ingredients, water, glycerin. It's basically water and glycerin and fragrance. You guys, this might just be snake oil. I feel like my face is wet. <laughs> yeah, my face is wet. I love the way it smells, but I mean, whether or not it's gonna make this makeup last longer. It's a water-based foundation and I've sprayed water over it. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do lashes and put on my hair and stuff and we'll be right back. And the final look. There's one product left actually. I have this Revolution Glow Molten Body Glow in rose gold. Let's just put it on the back of my hands and see what the tea is. Hello. Oh, it needs foundation mixed in for sure. So let's do like that. I guess I thought this was gonna have some coverage, but it's pretty much just liquid shimmer, which is fine. You just have to know that if you want coverage, you gotta mix it with some things. So like that looks pretty good. And then maybe like a little warm warm. Yeah. That's pretty. In the show, I wear like a swimsuit, and so I usually do like full body makeup with shimmer. I'll probably put this on later, like in the full zhuzh. So let's just go through everything we used. First of all, federal prison, jail, packed with 45 highly pigmented matte and shimmer shades. Who needs 45 shades of something that doesn't work that great? I just don't know who this is for. No, 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 no. Max Factor All Day Flawless Airbrush Finish Foundation. It's fine. Would I wear it in drag again? No, but it does really match me color wise. Would I possibly wear a little bit of it out of drag? Possibly yes, because it's water based and it looked really real. The Rimmel Lasting Finish Buildable Coverage Powder Foundations. These are yes. These are nice. I think these are pretty well priced. The only gripe is this was the deepest shade. Me as a person doing contouring, this shade was not deep enough. So maybe there's a full line. Sometimes drugstore brands have a lot of shades that aren't sold at every single location. The Blowout High Volume Mascara from Revolution, it's fine. It's just fine. The Sleek Medium Cream Contour Kit, this is actually really cute to me. This makes me wish I would have gotten the light and the dark and then I would have like a full set of these. I like it, me gusta. We're speaking Spanish on the channel today. The Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner, amazing. I think this is my favorite drugstore black liner we have in the States. I didn't realize I was buying the same one, but this is really good. The Eye Flix Pen in Black from 17. Jail, literally throw it away. I will not be using that ever again. That was horrible. Okay, the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liners. These are amazing. In fact, I might have to go back to the boots and get like every single shade of these because these are really nice. The Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. This is beautiful. You guys, I was upstairs putting hair on and stuff and I was like, wow, this feels really good. And they got it up close in the mirror and the lip looked super pillowy and smooth. This might be one of my favorite things I used today for sure. I did get a lip gloss, but it's from 17 and so now I'm scared of trying it. Should we just do it? This amazing lip gloss will brighten your entire complexion. Ow. We'll try it anyway. We're here. Instant regrets. It's very thick. It's like the consistency of honey. It's kind of thick. Okay, it I mean, it does kind of look pretty, right? I mean, it's fine. I mean, this. I, I would be interested to try more products from 17 because I was like, what's going on over here? There was a lot of product. And so far of the two I've tried, wasn't, wasn't, blown, wasn't blown away. But maybe I'm not the person. I myself, not 17. The Simpsons Revolution Setting Spray. It was fine. I'm concerned that the first few ingredients is like water and glycerin and fragrance. It feels like, what is this doing? The sleek blush, beautiful, stunning. I mean, don't you think that looks great on me? I think this is a really pretty color. That is real nice. And then finally, the bronzer. This is the Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in Medium. Now I want like all of these. 
That's it. I mean, compared to the other UK drugstore video, I think we found some real winners here. I think these Rimmel lip pencils are amazing. I think that this Rimmel liquid lipstick is amazing. Maybe I should do an all Rimmel video. If you guys would like to see me do an all Rimmel video to see if I can truly get the London look, let me know below. Otherwise, thank you for joining me on the channel. We tried new things. We had new experiences and our friendship is a richer broth because of it. Because of it. Okay, bye.